so uh, so anyway, on our as we were on our way to Florida, uh, that portion of the trip, uh, we were driving the car and this happened. Uh, I, I have a nickname for my kids and my wife. Uh, my wife is named Knight's Mama. Uh, so that was a blog name that she had. And she's the mama to Knight's. Because Knight's Mama occasionally does as we leave one city for another. She telephoned Mac Daddy, her father, to keep uh, the maps uh, and calendars up to date. This morning she was feeling, a, uh, he was feeling a bit out of sorts. His eye hurt and he had a headache coming on. Other than that, his day was starting. I listened in, but kept the monster pointed south. When Knight's Mama hung up, you know, we don't do that literally anymore, I could tell that she was troubled. He didn't sound quite himself, she said. The miles slowly passed under us. Within an hour, she was on the telephone again, following her instincts, checking in with other members of the family, who also keep tabs on their 81-year-old patriarch. Piece by piece, information drifted in. Knight's mama's sister-in-law had talked with him either before or after she had. It's hard to determine the exact timeline. He says this is the worst headache he's ever had. He threw up. He thinks he might have seen blood when he threw up. The vision in his right eye is blurry. The sister-in-law who lives two hours away is called Mac Daddy's girlfriend. Mac Daddy's girlfriend is on the way to his house. She's about 20 minutes away. Mac Daddy's girlfriend has called the neighbors to check on him. There are, these are the same neighbors who had found Knight's mama's mother on the floor 18 months ago. We're still driving down the highway wondering what it is we should be doing. How serious are things? Why isn't anyone calling us and telling us what ha what's happening? Dr. J and Captain Crunch, those are my two sons, sat in the back seat listening to their mother. I turned around a little and saw the captain was focusing intently, too intently, on his Kindle and the Minecraft world he has been living in for the past few months. I asked if everyone is okay. Both nodded in a way that told me they didn't want to go further into this. Look, it's early. We don't know what's happening. We are still waiting for more information. A couple of more calls and we learned a little more. It's past noon at this point and we are still working our way towards Charleston. Mac Daddy's girlfriend, who was once a nurse, believes it was a stroke. She called the ambulance before she left her house. When the neighbors arrived, my daddy was very pale and was sweating a great deal on his forehead. When EMS arrived, they gave him some tests. He seemed confused. He couldn't hold his right arm as long as he did his left. The EMS had taken him. They are going to the Wills Point Airport. The Care Flight helicopter was somewhere nearby and will meet EMS at the airport to fly him to Tyler, the regional hospital. There seemed to be some disagreement if Mother Frances and Tyler is the best hospital. Someone who, the girlfriend, the neighbors, recommend Parkland in Dallas. Mother Frances has a special ICU ward for stroke victims. It's the closest. The girlfriend rode with him to the airport. At the airport, Mac Daddy tells his girlfriend that he is ready to return home. The girlfriend is riding in the helicopter with Mac Daddy. Correction. The girlfriend is not riding in the, in the helicopter. The oldest son and his wife are driving from Eulis to Tyler. We do not know what his condition is. And we keep driving south. The frustration building. Will, he ever, will we ever get to Charleston? The panic crept closer. Knight's mama remained brave. Occasionally, she let some tears come. Is he going to die? goes on. <laughs> he did not die. Oh, so that okay. you know, uh, finish that part. Uh, he did not die. On the way here, uh, Knight's mama, Colleen, called him and he's on his way to Branson. <laughs> uh, with his girlfriend. Uh, he's not all there, but he's, uh, he's not back 100% of it. He's there. 
Am I done or should I read one more? How about one more and then I uh, open up the question? Okay. 